right, in this problem, once we know the solution, we know we can plug in one and zero in for X and Y to satisfy the inequalities. So let's go ahead and do that. When I do the first one, I get a zero is less than a times one plus one. Now, when I go ahead and simplify this, put the one to the other side, what I'm going to have is negative one is going to be less than a, or a is greater than negative one. So we know number one is true. When we go and plug it into the other example, here we're going to have a zero is greater than a b times one minus one. Go ahead and add one to the other side. So one is going to be greater than b, or b is less than one. So we know three is going to be true. However, we do not know the values of a and b, so therefore we cannot confirm that a plus b is going to equal zero. So the only answer is going to be 